Chaim HaKodesh. He says, Kedoshim Tiyu. It's the future. You shall be Kedosh. So he says, Okay. I don't want to lose the word. Let, let your fingers do the walking. Okay. Odirze, he says, Alder of Zek, Kedoshim Tiyu, Loshanosit, Pirish, and Hepsik, Lemitzu Zu. I mean, the Mitzvah Kedoshim to you was unlimited. Why? Whatever gate of Kedusha entered into, there's always a more advanced gate. It's endless. Kedoshim, wherever you're at, you're at, there's always a Tiyu. There's always the future level of advancement. There's no limit to the levels of Kedusha. Anybody who wants to assume that more advanced level, it's available. But of course, it's understood. You know, right away you get all excited. Tish Bekesh or Black Hat at the table. Take off the tie. You think you're a Rebbe. You understand? It's all nonsense. We're talking about real advancement. One step after another. I mean, to be a Novi, if you read the Rambam, it tells us he's already a Torah. To be a Novi, it, it's not, you can't even relate to it. Every moment of your mind and your involvement is fully invested in Hashem. Without that, don't even consider being a Novi. But Neviim, they had various levels. But once you're that, you should be at the same level. So you see, whatever level you're at, there are many more levels beyond that level. Now he says something interesting. He says, Moshe Ola al Gabeim. Moshe is the ultimate Novi. Moshe. Vulai. Now this is already to me, I mean, I, I, but it's a famous Orachem Akorosh. She Yocholios Hadrog Gedol Me Moshe. He says, maybe there's even a level, level beyond Moshe Rabbeinu. What are you saying? Vu Badregas Malkeinu Meshicheinu Hamuta Bat Beitre Atoros. He says, maybe Mashiach will even be beyond Moshe Rabbeinu. It says, Torah says there won't be any Novi greater than Moshe Rabbeinu. So if you're the greatest Novi, I mean, how could you be greater than, than Moshe? He says, he says, Ulai, maybe. Kemuva mi posok, he says, because it says in the posok, v'noch olav ruach Hashem, um divr rabu sein uzal, ki Moshe yo ha goel ha osid, Moshe will be the ultimate goel, Moshe rachnu bifushin shal gvar mi mekoman, im kein ein shiru gvul la drogos ha kedusha, if Moshe is the ultimate level you could reach, so how many levels do we have to, are before us before we achieve that? It's beyond. Tiyu is the osid. It's unlimited. You know, there's this famous thing is Rav Sajigon, maybe Rav Haigon, that every day he would do tshuva. Wouldn't do tshuva. He didn't do anything wrong because every day he realized, because he advanced, that the previous day he should have been at this level already. I mean, before you advance, you don't realize it's beyond your grasps, so you don't hold yourself accountable. But what about now you achieve the next level? So then you understand what was available. So every day, but you only realize the next level when you achieve the next level. Then there's the level that follows. So that's what he says. Tom and Yeshua begin a mitzvah lios kedoshim. No, so Tom and the kodesh and Hashem and Okechem. Just as in Shir el kedushosi is borach, just as Hashem's kedush is unlimited. The chovitz Hashem be bono vidido of lidomas lakonim, and Hashem wants His children, the, those who are beloved to Him, to reflect their Maker. Baflogas Hakdusha and an unlimited level of Kedusha, Umiata Duch Don Bidaitoch. So from this you're able to evaluate with your own understanding, Hajrogus Ashetovobahim, the various levels that you're able to achieve. Madrego, Hajrogus levels. You know, the Gemara says, he cites the Gemara book, Gemara says in Shabbos, and Mehemo Kemar Bochum Ono Kemeni Odom. Ono Kemeni Odom. Not even right, if they're angels, then we're, 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 we could classify them as people. And if you're going to classify them as people, we're donkeys. No, not less. Donkeys, Howard. Donkeys. And not even the donkey of Rapinthus Benyoya. Not even at his level of his donkey. Okay? Okay? So what does that mean? But you, if they're Malochim, what does that mean? You're, we're not talking about a person who's not Moritz. We're talking about the previous generation. The Gedolei Ador. 
the greatest tzaddikim of this generation, if we say the previous ones, umalochim wa b'nei You mean you're not a maloch? Relatively speaking, comparatively speaking, there's no comparison. Then malochim. Then we're b'nei odom. So there's a famous word from some sofer. And if you think they're b'nei odom, then you're a chamor. Yeah, then you're a chamor. To be continued. That's the final he said. It has to do with this. You should sanctify yourself to be Kadosh. There it's being don't abominate yourself. By eating Shrotzim, you're actually abominating yourself. Yeah. But no, he says Ula, he doesn't say for sure. He says maybe. It's a chidush, I mean. Okay. 